Welcome to Bob's Intriguing Facts, where history comes alive and mysteries unfold. In today's special episode, we delve into the life, achievements, and enduring enigma of one of history's most iconic figures, Amelia Earhart. Join us as we journey through Amelia Earhart's early years, her groundbreaking achievements in aviation, and the unsolved mystery of her disappearance. From her daring solo flights to her efforts in breaking gender barriers, we uncover the story of a true pioneer. We'll also explore the latest developments and theories that continue to captivate the world. What really happened to Amelia Earhart? Could recent discoveries finally provide answers to this decades-old mystery? Stay tuned as we unravel the facts, the fiction, and the fascination behind Amelia Earhart's legendary story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us in this journey of discovery. Welcome to Bob's Intriguing Facts. Amelia Earhart's story is a tapestry of groundbreaking achievements, unyielding courage, and a mystery that has intrigued the world for decades. This video delves deeper into the life of this aviation icon, exploring not only her remarkable achievements and the mystery of her disappearance, but also the technical aspects of her aircraft and the challenges she faced on her final flight. Exploring Earhart's early years provides insight into the makings of an aviation legend. Her childhood was marked by a sense of adventure and a disdain for conventional feminine roles. These early experiences shaped her into a woman who would later break numerous records and push the boundaries of what was possible for female pilots in the early 20th century. Some of her most notable achievements were 1928 transatlantic flight, Earhart's role as the first woman to cross the Atlantic as a passenger garnered international attention, 1932 solo flight across the Atlantic. This historic flight from Newfoundland to Northern Ireland was marked by hazardous weather and mechanical failures, showcasing Earhart's skill and tenacity. It solidified her status as a global icon and a trailblazer for women in aviation. Earhart continually set new records, including the first solo flight from Hawaii to the U.S. mainland and multiple speed and distance records, cementing her legacy as one of the greatest aviators of her time. Earhart's plane, the Lockheed Electra 10E, was a state-of-the-art aircraft for the day, but it also had limitations that played a crucial role in the challenges she faced. Navigation. While the Electra was equipped for navigation, the precision required for finding small islands like Howland was immense. The lack of modern GPS technology made this task even more daunting. Communication. The Electra's radio systems were advanced, but had limitations in range and clarity. This proved to be a significant handicap in Earhart's communication with the Itasca, the Coast Guard cutter near Howland Island. Fuel management. The need to manage fuel efficiently was critical, especially given the long overwater legs of the flight. Miscalculations or unexpected conditions could lead to dire consequences. Given the challenges posed by navigation, communication, and fuel management, it is plausible that the limitations and technical challenges of the Lockheed Electra 10E played a significant role in the circumstances leading to Earhart's disappearance. Understanding the capabilities and limitations of the Lockheed Electra 10E is key to comprehending the logistical and technical challenges Earhart faced on her final flight. This insight into the aircraft adds another layer to the mystery and helps explain why, despite her experience and planning, Earhart and Noonan may have encountered insurmountable difficulties during their ambitious journey. These factors played a critical role in the planning and execution of her final flight. Earhart's attempt to circumnavigate the globe in 1937 was her most ambitious project. The final leg to Howland Island was particularly treacherous due to the island's small size and the lack of sophisticated landing aids. Over the years, several theories have been proposed to explain the mysterious disappearance of Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan. These theories range from plausible explanations to more speculative ideas. 
each offering a different perspective on one of the 20th century's greatest mysteries. The crash and sink theory, the most widely accepted theory posits that Earhart's plane ran out of fuel while searching for Howland Island and ultimately crashed into the Pacific Ocean. Lack of definitive distress signals, postulated disappearance location, and absence of any physical evidence on land support this theory. Despite numerous searches, no wreckage of the Electra has been definitively located in the ocean. Gardner Island Hypothesis, Nikumaroro Theory. This theory suggests Earhart and Noonan may have landed on Gardner Island, now Nikumaroro, and survived for some time as castaways. Discovery of 1930s women's shoe parts, a sextant box similar to Noonan's, and anecdotal reports of airplane wreckage. In addition, human bones were found in 1940, but were later lost. The bones analysis in the 1940s was inconclusive, and subsequent visits and investigations on the island haven't provided conclusive evidence linking the artifacts to Earhart and Noonan. Japanese capture theory? A more controversial theory suggests Earhart and Noonan were captured by the Japanese, either as spies or as accidental intruders into Japanese territory. Mostly anecdotal, including claims by soldiers and islanders of seeing a white woman in custody and a theory linking Earhart to U.S. espionage activities. The theory lacks substantial evidence, and governments of both the U.S. and Japan have denied any involvement. Other speculations? These include ideas ranging from Earhart assuming a new identity after returning to the U.S. to more far-fetched theories involving alien abduction. While these have captivated the public's imagination, they lack credible evidence. Recent advances in technology such as deep-sea exploration tools and forensic analysis techniques have renewed hope in solving this mystery. The latest expeditions and studies use sophisticated equipment to search the ocean floor near Howland Island and analyze DNA from artifacts found on Nikumaroro. The discovery by Deep Sea Vision near Howland Island has renewed hopes of solving the mystery. The object, resembling an aircraft at a significant depth, could potentially be Earhart's Lockheed Electra. This finding, while not yet definitive, represents a significant development in the ongoing quest to uncover what happened to Earhart and Noonan. Earhart's impact goes beyond her records and the mystery surrounding her disappearance. She remains a symbol of courage and the relentless pursuit of one's dreams, inspiring generations to challenge the status quo and break barriers, both in aviation and in life. Amelia Earhart's life story, a blend of pioneering achievements, unyielding determination, and an unsolved mystery, continues to inspire and captivate. As we unravel her story, we invite you to engage with us further. Like and subscribe to Bob's Intriguing Facts, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of an extraordinary woman whose legacy transcends time and continues to fly high in the annals of history.